Hey, we're here with Into Mobile. We're here to take a look at the HTC Desire HD. That's what you're looking at right here. The you know the latest and greatest from HTC with the big, massive 4.3 inch capacitive touchscreen right here. Um, a lot like let's say the T-Mobile HTC HD7, right? It's got similar form factor as you can see. You can only do so much when you have that 4.3 inch screen. You want to put a speaker, but minimal bezel around, and you want these touch sensitive uh, navigation buttons. Notice that these buttons are different from the the one on the left. The ones on the right and the left are different because the one on the right is Android, the one on the left is Windows Phone. But what I'm trying to show you guys is the hardware similarities between these guys. Um, of course, volume control rockers are on opposite corners and, you know, construction is slightly different. We've got the slot loading battery over here with the unibody construction on the Desire HD, whereas the um, HD7 does not have that, but the HD7 does have that kickstand, right? But anyway, we're here to take a look at the HTC Desire HD. What I want to show you guys, one of the things was the fast boot features. So, we're totally off. The screen is not just off, it's the entire phone is off, right? So thanks to the fast boot, I'm going to push this power button up here. I'm going to get a little vibration to let you know it's going, and bam, you are started up. That's instant boot right there. That's pretty much instant boot. They call it fast boot. Well, they is HTC, right? So let me just show you again how that works. We're going to, just to show you guys, I'm going to power off, and it's not a full power off. It's in super, super hibernate mode. It's just going to power off real quick and go into like this special hibernate mode, this fast boot mode. And when I turn it back on, it's going to come right back on. Now, because it's a fast boot mode, you are going to drain a little, little tiny bit of battery. I, I, I think that's how it works. And it goes into like a hibernate standby mode. But um, um, either way, I mean, super fast start, right? So we got this four, this is, uh, we're going to take a look at the little bit of the hardware here. We got the 4.3 inch uh, touchscreen display right on the inside we have a second generation snapdragon processor at one gigahertz it's got that larger cache and it's got the uh the faster gpu so not only is this guy faster than a one gigahertz first generation snapdragon this guy also has better uh better, better uh, uh graphics performance 3d graphics performance and what all that cool stuff does it makes for a really really snappy ui you know the ui won't bog down when you have a lot of apps open and it really just flies it's hard to show you just by sliding around the panes like this but everything is super responsive like let's say we open the gmail app super responsive let's say open android market super super snappy really we're just limited by our network connection here right um go to the camera camera fires up look at how fast the camera fires up and one another cool thing is you have all the you have your previous uh, apps all up at the top here, which is pretty cool, I think. And, you know, sign to the right. We have, ah, we also have the, well, we'll go over this in the software tour. Anyway, on the hardware tour, what I wanted to show you was, um, it's got that 1 gigahertz Snapdragon on the inside. Of course, Wi-Fi on the BGN uh, standards. We've got uh, GPS, of course, with compass, um, Bluetooth, a micro SD card slot. We've got a the the camera back here it's a what is that that is an 8 megapixel shooter 8 megapixel camera you can see right there if the glare isn't too bad um, with the dual LED flash the speaker right there um, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right there on, on the bottom with the micro USB port for charging and data and uh, no dedicated camera shutter button okay so that's that's something to note for you guys no kickstand that's another thing to note but it does have um, a lot of cool features like, say, um, we've got the little indicator light flashing right there with the speaker grill. Um, lots of cool stuff on this guy, but really one of the thing, you know, coolest things is it's a, it's a aluminum unibody construction. So see how this piece of aluminum wraps all the way around. This is one single aluminum piece right there. And what that allows for is this really unique battery design where you go like this. The battery just slides out. It's like a magazine out of a out of a handgun or something. It's really like an ammo magazine. It's really, really, really cool. Um, now, what I just did there was I pulled the battery, right? So like I said, when you turn the phone off, it usually goes into that fast boot, like hibernate mode. But if you pull the battery, you're going to 100% go into a cold, 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 cold power off situation. So when you try to start back up from this mode, you're going to get, it's going to take a little longer. Okay, let's see how long it takes to boot up there. Going, going, going. I'm not going to cut away. I want you guys to see how long it takes from a very from a 100% cold shutoff situation to boot versus fast boot, which actually happens 
like almost instantly, right? So we're almost there, we're on the HDC splash screen. Still booting up, give it another couple seconds, and it's obviously taking considerably longer. This is about the same uh, boot up times as everybody, uh, as any other smartphone out there, really. So there we go. Now we're fu fully booted up, but it once you hit this uh, this loading um, stage of of your boot up, it actually it seems to be a little quicker on this guy just because it's got the faster the faster um, internals, you know. The faster, uh, the faster processor with the faster cache and all that good stuff. Um, okay, so and one cool side effect of having a uh, unibody aluminum unibody casing because you know, of course, like I mentioned, this this aluminum wraps around the entire. It's basically a one piece case for the side. Well, you have the side loading battery, but also, if I can get this off, you'll see that the bottom piece is actually part of a radio. There, there's a radio in there, or an antenna, I should say. And that's where the SIM card sits. So the SIM card goes in there, and the micro SD card goes in there. As you can see, it's a hot swappable micro SD card slot, so you don't have to pop the battery out to get to the micro SD card, and you could swap cards without rebooting the phone. And you have the micro, uh, you have the SIM card right down here, um, all in kind of a slot loading construction. So it's a really unique design, pretty much uh, innovated by HTC, the slot loading unibody um, casing here. That's a little hardware tour of the HTC Desire HD. Real quick little look right there. And of course, oh, a couple things I left out. It's got some cool sound processing from Dolby, the SRS Wow technology. Um, overall, pretty pretty slim in the hand. It's about the same uh, thickness as the HTC Desire HD, which is actually a lot thinner than the Evo. If you can you can you can tell that the Evo is slightly thicker because the Evo does have, while they both have eight megapixel cameras, the Evo does have the WiMAX radio on the inside, so you can see that it's slightly thicker right there. Anyway, so that's a quick little look at the HTC Desire HD. More to come in the software tour.